Hey toy fans, Aaron here. Uh, sorry I missed last Friday's posting. It's been a busy month for me with lots of extra side projects and kind of all just came to a peak last week. So I didn't get a chance to do a video. But anyways, back to it now. And today we're going to take a look at the Hoth. What is this? Hoth Rebel Soldier with anti-vehicle laser cannon. This is the deluxe figure set that came out 90... I don't know, the package says 96, the figure says 97. But we're going to head to that table and check it out. And here's a little closer look at the packaging for this uh, set. Now this was released as part of the Power of the Force collection. As you can see, it's got that green lightsaber going through the backside. Got the image of Darth Vader in the upper left corner. And with that large window packaging, you get a good look at the figure and the included uh, anti-vehicle laser cannon. Along the bottom of that window packaging, you got the word Deluxe there, really big to signify that this was part of the Deluxe line, which had quite a few of the other figures uh, available with little mini rigs and vehicles and such. Taking a look at the backside, you've got a little cutout with a little uh, bio information about the Hoth Rebel Soldier. You got a still image from the movie of the guy standing behind the weapon getting ready to use it. To the right, you've got an image of the toy itself and how it looks all set up. Along this middle area here, you got the other figures and vehicles that are sold separately. Also a couple that were available in this deluxe line as well with Boba Fett and the probe droid. Now here it is all set up and assembled out of the packaging. And overall it is a neat set. Now there was a similar mini rig released uh, what back in the 80s in the vintage line. I never had that so I don't really know how this compares to that release. So we're just going to go with this on its own merits. Starting first with just the laser cannon. Overall it's kind of decent looking. I gotta say I, I was never a fan of this like dark gray or black splattered look that was all over this. And uh, I, the ad ad had it and I forget if there was anything else but it just I don't know. I don't like the look of that plastic. Fine if you want to give it a weathered or some sort of battle damaged look, but this just didn't work for me. Aside from that, the molding looks pretty good. You got these stickers on the front of the dish, something nice shiny on it. Through the base of the cannon, you have little doors and whatnot molded into it. It does look very nice, and you do have a little bit of kind of weathering painting in there along the sides, just under a couple of the doors there and stuff. Now this thing does have a couple playability features with it. First up, I mean, it's a laser cannon, so that means something has to shoot out of it, right? So you got a little button on the back of the dish here. And pushing that down shoots the projectile out. And also this does have kind of an exploding feature. Little lever here at the bottom. And the harder you push it, the more this will come out. Which really isn't all that much anyways. More just rolls out. But there's a little notch at the bottom of the dish for it to sit into. There it is. Taking a look at the figure now, and to me, this is just a so-so figure. I mean, even for 96, I think it was so-so. Now, I believe at this time, we already had the Hoth Rebel Soldier released on the single card. Uh, this was a guy who came with a beard. Outfit was more white and gray. This one's kind of a creamy color and like a olive green or something, which I don't think any of the soldiers had this green look. I think they were all kind of either gray or maybe even a light tan. But I will say it was nice to get a different looking head sculpt on a figure. So at least you had some variants in that Rebel Army on Hoth. But in that head sculpt, I don't know, to me it just something looks weird. Like there's not a lot of sculpting to it or something. Uh, of course the goggles look weird too. As far as that headband and the hood around his head, that, that looks d relatively decent. Getting through the chest area minus that green coloring. You got a little bit of detailing on the jacket with whatever those uh, gray things are on his, his right side. And then on the left side, you got the little emblem painted in there. Just one solid color, nothing overly detailed there. You got some minor detailing on the backpack. Uh, just the top of that antenna is painted gray and a couple gray parts on the on the back side. But otherwise, no other painting for the hose that's running around the, the middle and the other side. Getting into the leg area, you got a holster molded onto his hip. And even the pattern in the legs around that kneecap area seems like it's worn down. Uh, I'll hold this up against the Hoth Rebel Soldier that was released on the single card. And kind of show the difference between the two. And it's like they're the same legs, but yet not. And then for the foot area, those boots, of course, you know, you got the straps painted in there. Very nice. And real quick, just holding these two figures up side by side. As you can see, they are pretty similar. Obviously, the chest is definitely different because the goggles are molded in on this single carded release. Whereas this one, he's wearing them. Kind of get in there. You can kind of see there's some painting in here on his little uh, emblem or whatever. Nothing there. Definitely more painting on the backpack for that single carded release. Some gray on the bottom where there's nothing here. Silver, I should say. And then as I mentioned, it's like the legs seem like they're the same, but you definitely get more detail in the pattern on this single carded release 
compared to what was in the uh, release here that we're looking at. Now the only accessory that this figure came with was its backpack which is removable. Just actually give it a good pull, off it comes, and that's it. No other weapons or anything. And as far as articulation, that head does spin around, arms go up and down, no problem. And then the legs go forward, but you're not getting anything back, even if you move that backpack out of the way. So, just forward. So overall, that all probably sounds kind of harsh to it, but it's still a decent set. Obviously, as time has gone on in the line, we've gotten better release of the uh, cannon, and of course, better releases of the Hoth soldiers. And when this was released, it was only $8, which figures I think were still $5 at that time, so... You're only paying three bucks more to get the cannon. So maybe things were a little lacking in the figure just because of the lower cost on that. All right, so that wraps up this look at the Hoth Rebel Soldier laser cannon setup. Um, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.